Hello everybody and welcome to the third video of my 3D printing series. It is time to upgrade my Prusa i3 MK3S printer and add Wi-Fi capabilities and a web camera to monitor and manage the prints remotely. To do this I will show you step by step in details how to prepare and install a Raspberry Pi 0W board with attached camera into the Prusa i3 MK3S printer. I will also show you how to install and configure the Octoprint software and how to access it and use it remotely through a web browser to control and monitor the printer. Before we start, let's check the needed parts and tools. First we need the Raspberry Pi 0W board. Be aware to get the version with the W at the end. This is the version with the Wi-Fi capabilities. You need also a pin header to connect the board to the Prusa Electronics. Very important. You need 18mm pins, the standard are too short and you can't attach the board with them. You can buy extra strip with 18mm pins and use them with the double row header instead of the shorter pins. Camera and camera cable. Check that you have the right camera cable. The Raspberry Pi Zero camera cable is more slim than the camera cable for the normal Raspberry Pi. You can of course get the normal cable and an adapter for the Raspberry Pi Zero camera port. You also need a micro SD card to install the Octoprint software on it. To install the board into the printer electronics case you need two extra parts that can be 3D printed. The Raspberry Pi Zero frame and the Raspberry cover. The parts are included in the 3D printable parts package for the Prusa i3 MK3S printer and can be downloaded from the Prusa site. I added the link to the printable parts package in the description. The assembled pin header for the Raspberry Pi 0W should look like this. The pins have to stick 12.5mm on the adapter side. Try to fit the Raspberry Pi board, the pins and the adapter together to see if everything fits nicely. Now we can solder the pins to the Raspberry Pi 0W board. Before we continue, we have to install Octoprint on the micro SD card and configure it. To do this we have to download the Prusa pre-build Octoprint image. We also need Etcher utility to flash the image to the SD card. The link to the pre-build Octoprint image and etcher can be found in the description below. Unzip the Prusaprint image, install etcher and start it. In etcher click select image and find and select the unzipped Prusaprint image file. Insert the micro SD card in the attached micro SD card reader and select as as a flash target. Finally click on the flash button. Wait until the image is flashed and validated. There are two more settings we have to set up. First we have to configure the Wi-Fi and then we have to set the admin or root password for the Raspberry Pi. To configure the Wi-Fi go to the mounted micro SD card. It should be named boot now. Search for the file Octopi WPA supplicant.txt and open it in an editor. Find the WPA, WPA2 secured lines and uncomment them. Then change the username and the password according to your Wi-Fi settings. The last configuration you have to do is to change the password for the Pi user. If you don't do this the password for the Pi user will be Raspberry. Create a new text file and write the new Pi password in the first line. Save the file in the root folder of the micro SD card as octopi-password.txt.
Attach the camera cable to the Raspberry Pi Zero W. Insert the micro SD card into the Raspberry Pi. Remove the cover and plug in the Raspberry Pi in the Prusa i3MK3S printer. Then close with the newly printed cover. Plug in the power cable in the Prusa printer and turn on the power switch. Wait for a couple of minutes for the Raspberry Pi Zero W to boot. After a while the Raspberry Pi Zero W IP will be shown on the LCD display. Alternatively you can log into your router and find the IP of the Raspberry Pi there. The Raspberry Pi will be listed as Octopi. Using this IP you can now log into the Raspberry Pi 0W with SSH. The default user is Pi. Use the password you set as you configured Octoprint. Octoprint is based on a Linux operating system, so it should be familiar enough to any Linux user. You can log in to Octopi with your browser typing octopi.local in the address bar. When you log in for the first time you have to configure Octopi. There is a great configuration wizard that will help you with that. After that you are good to go. The last thing we have to do is to mount the camera. I found a great articulating camera mount for Prusa MK3 on Thingiverse. You can find the link to the mount in the comments. I decided to mount the camera to the x-axis. When printing this mount print the bolts with 100% infill. I used less at first and some of the bolts broke. The camera mount has holes so you can use some zip ties to bind the camera cable. Now the 3D printer is ready to be controlled remotely. And this is how it looks in Octoprint.